to the honor of the Holy and Undivided Trinity for the exaltation of the Catholic faith and for the growth of Christian life by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles Peter and Paul and our own authority having given full deliberation and having sought the help of divine guidance and the advice of our many brother bishops we have discerned and determined blessed Eugene de Mazenod to be a saint Eum in universa ecclesia, inter sanctos pia devotione, recoli debere. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. of the life of Eugene de Mazenod, priest, founder, and bishop, came to a close on May the 21st, 1861. Just a momentary pause in his continuing work. For 24 years, he had been the bishop of the city of Marseille, and he had built its great cathedral. And it was there, in that cathedral, that he was laid to rest. The Church has now declared this man a saint, Saint Eugene de Mazenod, oblate of Mary Immaculate, because he responded in full measure to the graces God offered him during his lifetime.
He is declared saint because his passion for God did not die with him, but lives on in the oblate congregation he founded. But he is declared saint because the faith of the people holds him as a model to imitate, an intercessor to invoke. St. Eugene de Mazenod challenged his oblate sons and their co-workers to be daring for Christ. He left them a sense of urgency for the salvation of souls, and that missionary thrust is offered to each and every one of us. Far, far beyond Marseille, far beyond St. Peter's, his procession moves on. The rich harvest of souls spoken of by Jesus Christ continues, a harvest so dear to St. Eugene. So much a part of his life then, so much a part of his presence now.